Welcome back to FNTV at MWC 25. I'm Steve Saunders. Sustainability, it's been a perennial topic at MWC for years, but this year it's become a major focus of the event. Well, today we're here to speak truth to power, electrical power, and talk about how innovative technologies like Open RAN and enhanced optics can drive significant savings in operational expenses while also helping save the environment. And I have an amazing lineup of guests here uh, to discuss this. First, Bijoy Pankajashan, uh, Chief Technology and Strategy Officer from Mavenir. Welcome. Uh, Michael Martin, CEO of One and One, which is a mobile operator. And Chris Boogie, uh, Director of Core Application, Infrastructure and Cloud at Virgin Media O2. So, uh, Bijoy, let me start with you. Uh, obviously, uh, building more sustainable networks is Clearly, it's good for the environment, but is there a business rationale uh, for your customers and what technologies are available to them now uh, to help them uh, save costs on sustainability? The business rationale definitely exists for the operators, considering that they own a large footprint of data centers. From a technology perspective, Mavenir has an end-to-end -end portfolio that covers radio as well as the core. And radio being the most consuming, energy consuming part of the operator network, we have technologies in place, be it the physical radio weight and other newer technologies that's used in the radio mm -hmm. to actually lower the power consumption. The use of AI, of course, is a key part in RAN as well as in the core. Mm -hmm. And within the core, the packet core, especially the data plane handling piece is where we, in, where we have new technologies installed to actually leverage the capabilities of those products and get to 40 to 50 percent energy savings. And this is something that we had a press release as well this week. Yeah. 40 to 50 percent, that's extraordinary. Um, Michael, uh, speaking as a service provider, as an operator, what's the biggest challenge for you in addressing sustainability? <clears throat> we are using uh, only standard hardware, and I think that is one of the things that a telco operator needs to learn. Uh, standard hardware renewal cycles are much different than the telecom, what the telecom is used to, much shorter. So, and, and you know, getting the most value out of it, getting used to those short uh, cycles of renewals, I think that, that is one of the big new learnings. And the other one is uh, implementing our architecture with very low footprint on antennas, having all intelligence, all servers in, in our re regional data centers and learning how that technology is really working to get the most savings out of it. We, we do see 10 to 30 uh, percent energy savings compared to traditional networks in our networks. So wow. Open RAN is energy efficient. Yeah, so significant savings. Are you seeing similar savings, Chris? And um, you know, do you have set sustainability goals um, at your, uh, in your network and, and how far along are you in achieving those? Yeah, so we're on the journey in BMO2. <clears throat> um, there's a lot more to do, I think, in this space. And to Bajai's point, we're, we're look, working with Intel and AMD to try and expose some of these features and work with the partner community to help us around the power savings. Um, and ultimately try and reduce our OPEX within our data centers. So we believe that in the future we could see millions or tens of millions in opportunity in this space. Mm. So saving the world, but also saving money. Indeed. And the, uh, the optics of, uh, of that look almost as good as the savings in OPEX as well as, as a business, do they? Is that important to you? It's hugely important because that affects our bottom line. Mm. Okay. Bijoy, do you see any innovations or any developments coming down the pike which you think are going to be important for improving the sustainability profile of carriers? Yeah, definitely. From a data center, going back to the point I made earlier, the use of liquid cooling is one area that we're definitely seeing in the data centers. On the radio, which is the biggest consuming energy consuming part of the operator network, the use of new PA technology which would advance as well. And then of course, cannot discount the role that AI is going to have, especially deciding what time of the day the network needs to be more active. When can you shut down servers? When can you shut down radios? Which is all gonna to lead to a more efficient network that consumes less energy. Michael, do you think that being sustainable is important to your customers? Is it something that comes up? Do they ask you about it? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely, it's important to our customers. It's important for our environment. It's important for everybody that 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 cares. 
especially when you build a force network, a new network in, in a big country like Germany, mm. uh, sustainability needs to be sought on from the very beginning. Uh, mm. Maybe different than 25 years ago, when the f last new network was built in Germany. Now it's different times and you need to think it. Security, sustainability needs to be in, in, in first place. Chris, do you get paid on sustainability goals? Is it part of your plan as a strategic insider service provider operator? Are you judged on it? Yeah, I think we're judged on it. It's in our numbers that, that we publish and we publish those on an annual basis. Mm. So, and just a comment, it, it's hugely important, not just to our customers, but also to our shareholders as well in the whole industry. Mm. Fantastic. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, that was really, really interesting. That's it for now for FNTV here at MWC 25. Join us later for more news and analysis. FNTV, what are you looking at?